What's going on YouTube? Champer Productions coming back at you with another video. And in today's video, I've got another Nerf review for you guys. And so over the years, I've shot my fair share of Nerf guns. I've seen a lot of cool Nerf guns, but none of them as cool as the one I'm about to show you. So in today's video, I'll be reviewing the Nerf rival Prometheus. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this show on the road. Okay, so overall the Nerf Prometheus does come with quite a few things and it comes with a adjustable strap for the Nerf Prometheus. It comes with a charger cord, uh, a rechargeable battery, a instruction booklet, um, two flags, one blue, one red for the Nerf gun itself, uh, a carry handle to go on the front, 200 darts and the Nerf Prometheus itself. And these pieces that go on the bottom, these little rail pieces right here, you do have to add on, but I went ahead and added them on for the review. Okay, so setting up the Nerf Prometheus isn't actually too hard. First, we're gonna start off with the carry handle. The carry handle uh, um, installs very easily. We're gonna set the battery off to the side. So at the front of the gun here, there are two holes, um, one on the left side, one on the right side. This is for um, the user preference. Um, there's obviously a way you can tap it in on this side if you're left-handed or right-handed or whatever the case may be me personally I like to put it in on the right side um, so what you're going to do is just uh, put the carry handle into place just like so on that um, in that hole and it tabs into place and secures very nicely now let's say you don't want it there or um, someone else doesn't want it there when in use all you got to do is press this black button at the front pull the carry handle out and you're good to go so um, yeah and same thing on the other side, so if you want to uh, switch the sides, press down the black button, hold it, pull it out, and resituate it. Now the battery, the battery is a 9.6 uh, 9 volt rechargeable battery, and to give you an idea how much voltage that is, that's nearly a car battery's voltage. A car battery requires 12.6 volts, so that's a lot of voltage going into this battery. It is rechargeable, I'll get into that here in a second. So to install the battery, pretty easy. There is a um, rail here, sort of like a uh, piece for the battery to slide into and then where the battery actually rests. We're just gonna slide that into place. And you do need a Phillips head screwdriver for this next part. So we're gonna pull out Phillips head screwdriver and we're gonna run this into place. There's a screw right in there. We're just going to go ahead and make sure that goes into place. And this battery does last a good long while so that's something that you don't have to worry about is the gun dying on you so once that's locked into place and everything's um once the battery is locked in the place and everything the light at the top should turn green that means you're ready to go the battery's charged okay so as i just mentioned this does um have a, a rechargeable battery and a charging cord so what we're going to do is take the um the plug here and there's a little little area for this to tab into so we're just going to put that into place make sure um, everything connects and when it connects this light should turn red um, if it's blinking red it need it's charging and if it's a solid red like it is now that means the battery is fully charged and ready to go so as you can see it's a solid red and on um, the battery is ready to go okay so going over whether or not your battery is charged your battery will probably need to be charged right out of the box but um a good way of telling whether or not you need to charge your battery or what the status is is there is a green light on the top here um, when it is solid green that means it's fully charged it's ready to go and if it's blinking red that means it's getting low and it probably needs to be charged soon and then if it goes solid red it's about to die and um, yeah after two minutes of inactivity it will fall asleep and the green light will it won't it'll go down and the battery it'll sort of preserve battery 
Now moving on to the flags here. Uh, there is a clip at the back for them. So like if I wanted to be team blue, obviously this is all white and black. So if I wanted to be team blue, uh, it's just a plastic clip and it will just uh, snap onto the back here, just like so. So whenever I'm running around, players can tell if I'm on team red or team blue. Same thing goes for the red flag. Uh, pretty simple. Same thing. You just snap it on and into place. Team red, people can tell whose side I'm on. So that's pretty simple. Now for the strap, the strap, this is a nice little strap to have. Um, it is on a spring clip system and there is two hooks at the front and a rotational hook piece at the back. So what you're going to do is just uh, the add on the straps, pretty simple. You just want to snap that into place just like so both sides and then you can have the strap to help carry the nerf prometheus so yeah that's pretty cool but for right now i'm going to leave this off just like that and yeah now turning to the loading process i've obviously loaded all my rival darts into the um into the uh, magazine or canister here um, but it is very easy you're just going to take this door and uh, slide it open and then you'll be able to uh, uh, put all 200 of your rival darts in there and then close the door make sure it snaps into place um, just like that and then you're ready to go okay so if the indicator light is not working or if it's red or if it's flashing red if it's not working if you put in fresh batteries uh, there is a reset button on the side of the gun here you just want to take a smaller item like a paper clip and I'm going to bring that in a little bit closer so you can guys can see it there's a reset button right there you just want to take a small item like a paper clip or something like that to push it and then the gun should be ready to go okay there is one more thing I want to go over before we actually get into the performance of the uh, Prometheus and everything else and that is jamage issues so let's say I'm in battle and I'm shooting and then my gun jams which is unlikely but they've added it in so I'm gonna go over it uh, what you're gonna do is just push the carry handle forward uh, this piece right here will pop up and then that will allow you to take out the canister and darts will stop, drop, uh, start dropping everywhere they pick those up and then that will allow you to clear out your jam. Ah, uh, give me a second. Alright, I, uh, I got that um, situation cleaned up and to add it back in, there is a notch right here at the very back and then a uh, little resting spot for that. You're just going to tab all this into place, push that back down and push this black piece down, pull the carry handle back up and then you're ready to go. Okay, we got the Prometheus set up. Um, we're gonna go ahead, this gun does have a safety on it right here, this orange um, lever that just folds down. You got the trigger here that revs it up. And you got the fire trigger here on top. We got our target down range. I'm gonna switch the handles out just so you guys can get the Prometheus in action. Let's go. So yeah, as far as distance and accuracy goes, that was an overall success. I've gotten a little bit closer to the target, and I went ahead and reloaded the gun. But this time, we're unloading the whole 200 darts. Dude, that is a lot of darts. That's 200 darts. Um, it's actual max capacity. It's advertised at 200 darts, but this thing can hold a max of 250 rival darts. So that's a lot of darts. And the cleanup, 
the cleanup process is nonetheless uh, the, uh, the say least a pain. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get uh, all this cleaned up. I'm going to give my final thoughts and opinions, and then we're going to end this video off. Yay, clean up! So, overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions on the Nerf rival Prometheus? Hands down, the coolest and most powerful Nerf gun I've ever seen. Its rate of fire is 8 darts per second. Its ammo capacity is 250 rival darts. And it's just a cool looking gun. Anyone on the battlefield sees you coming with this, they're going to turn and run the other way. I mean, this gun is just way overpowered for a Nerf gun in my opinion. It's just super cool. So do I recommend it? Absolutely. I will leave a link in the description below where you can get your Nerf Prometheus. It is a bit pricey, so... So yeah, I would recommend saving up for it if you can. It's a it's a decision it's a decision you won't regret. It's it's just such a cool nerf gun. So guys, that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to click like, comment what you think of the nerf Prometheus down in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.